Hi, I am Sheikh Mahbub Basha. Welcome to my channel. Happy learning. Hi students, welcome. In the previous classes, we have discussed about the specific heat and its applications. We have also solved a few numerical problems. Hope you all understood and uh, practiced uh, my homework. Then today we will discuss about the mixtures regarding the heat and the temperature. We will discuss about the mixtures. For uh, simplicity, let us take a case of only two bodies. So there are two bodies: one hot body, another cold body. They are brought together and kept in contact. What do you expect? Obviously, heat flows from hot body to cold body. So, what is the amount of heat lost by the hot body? What is the amount of heat gained by the cold body? Is given by the expression Q equal to m s delta T. So, here, if you assume that there is no other way to loss of heat, only the hot body has to loss. its heat by transferring to the second body then in that case you can write one statement that is heat lost by the hot body is equal to heat gained by the cold body and this is called as principle of mixtures in case of more than two bodies this principle of mixtures also valid in such case you can modify this equation as total heat lost by the hot bodies is equal to total heat gained by the cold bodies okay so this is a principle of a method of mixtures this method this principle is useful to find the specific heat of a, some unknown materials so let us uh, have a demonstration of that before that let us understand what is a calorimeter what is a calorimeter a calorimeter is basically a copper tumbler it is a copper tumbler it has a stirrer spoon like structure rod like structure to stir so its name is stirrer so this copper tumbler along with that stirrer is called a calorimeter basically this calorimeter is kept in a wooden box which has a lid and there is a small hole to the lid you can place thermometer into the calorimeter through the small hole provided to the lid and the space left in the wooden box is generally filled with a bad conducting material like pieces of paper sawdust or coir etc you can use a cotton also which is a bad conductor of heat to fill the remaining space in the wooden box this arrangement prevents loss of heat from the calorimeter contents in the form of radiation it prevents the loss of heat in the form of radiation so this complete arrangement we call as calorimeter uh, for a measurement purpose in the experiment calorimeter refers to this copper tumbler and this stirrer okay right now let us have a, a derivation and experimental procedure to determine the specific heat of a given solid material using this calorimeter the calorimeter is taken as i said earlier calorimeter means this copper tumbler along with the stirrer its mass is noted as m1 use any electronic weighing balance note down the mass of empty calorimeter as m1 then fill this calorimeter with water two third of the calorimeter is filled with water and now this calorimeter along with the water mass is determined and is noted as m2 now the room temperature is noted as t1 room temperature means the water in the jar the water poured into the calorimeter or the calorimeter itself is the room temperature so the room temperature is noted by suspending a thermometer in the room for about 5 to 10 minutes suspend a thermometer leave it for about 5 to 10 minutes note down the reading of the thermometer 
that will be the room temperature that is equivalent to room te temperature of the kilometer temperature of the water taken in the kilometer right then on the other hand the solid material whose specific heat is to be determined is heated in a water bath any vessel the water is taken into the vessel some heat is applied that uh, boiling water is uh, our hot water bath a solid material whose specific heat is to be determined is dropped into the water bath and let it for uh, 10 minutes or 20 minutes to raise its temperature equal to the temperature of the water bath use second thermometer put the bulb of the second thermometer into the hot water bath note down the temperature T2 it is the temperature of the water bath in other words it is the temperature of the hot body ok now drop this hot solid material from the hot water bath quickly transfer that solid material into this calorimeter so that there should not be heat loss in radiation or some other means so quickly transferred and stirred well simultaneously the temperature of the thermometer is noted the temperature in the thermometer kept in the calorimeter rises and reaches a maximum that maximum value is noted as T3 which is the temperature of the mixture temperature of the mixture what is that mixture? calorimeter, water and this hot solid mixture these three together is the mixture the temperature is noted as T3 now take this uh, calorimeter that means that copper tumbler, stirrer, water and the hot solid added all this together again this its mass is uh, determined and is noted as M3 so total you have noted uh, 6 things, 6 values M1 empty calorimeter mass M2 mass of calorimeter along with water M3 mass of calorimeter along with water and solid T1 room temperature T2 water bath steady temperature T3 temperature of the mixture so in addition to these six six values you have noted note down two more standard values specific heat of copper calorimeter is made up of cal copper so specific heat of copper is equal to 0 0.1 CGS units and a specific heat of water is 1 CGS units ok we are doing this experiment in CGS system all the values are noted in CGS system only ok total we have 8 values and using all these 8 values substituting in the formula we will derive now we can determine the specific heat of the given solid material first let us go through the formula derivation later you see the demonstration of this experiment where you will get the value for specific heat of the given solid material mass of empty calorimeter is equal to m1 gram mass of calorimeter plus water equal to m2 gram Mass of water is equal to M2 minus M1 gram. Initial temperature of cold calorimeter and water is equal to T1 degrees Celsius. Initial temperature of hot solid material is equal to T2 degrees Celsius. Final temperature of mixture of calorimeter, water and solid is equal to T3 degrees Celsius. Mass of calorimeter plus water plus solid is equal to M3 grams. Mass of solid alone is equal to M3 minus M2 grams. Specific heat of copper SC equal to 0 0.1 and specific heat of water SW equal to 1 
then specific heat of solid equal to question mark principle heat lost by the hot bodies is equal to heat gained by the cold bodies heat lost by the hot solid is equal to heat gained by cold calorimeter and water on both sides left hand side and right hand side the q equal to mst formula is applied and uh, on simplification we get this formula s is equal to m1 into sc into t3 minus t1 plus m2 minus m1 into sw into t3 minus t1 whole divided by m3 minus m2 into t2 minus t3 this is in denominator Apparatus required are a copper calorimeter, an electronic balance, aluminium foils, two thermometers, retort stand, Bunsen burner or stove, water bath, tripod stand, and tongs. Mt calorimeter mass is noted as M1. Two third of calorimeter is filled with water and its mass is noted as M2. Now the calorimeter is placed in the wooden box using a thermometer temperature of the water is noted as T1. Now the Bunsen burner is lighted and the water bath is placed on the flame using a tripod stand. The experimental aluminum foils are dropped into this water bath. Another thermometer is fitted to the retort stand and the thermometer bulb is suspended into the water bath. After a few minutes, the temperature of water rises and reaches a steady value and it is noted as T2. Now the hot aluminum foils are quickly transferred into the calorimeter and stirred well. The temperature maximum value is noted as T3. After cooling, the calorimeter along with water and aluminum foils mass is noted as M. Now the values are substituted in the formula. And after simplification, specific heat of aluminium is 0 0.1907 calorie per gram per degree Celsius. Welcome back students. We have seen the derivation of the formula and demonstration of this experiment. So this is how the specific heat of a given solid material is determined using calorimeter. In other words, using the principle of mixtures. Hope you enjoyed this class. So we'll meet in next class. Okay. Thank you. Take care.